Hello and welcome to Goblin Stone. I am your host, Alan Enraged. This adorably hand-drawn, procedurally generated game was given to me early um, so that I could show you guys. So let's get started. It, it is it is uh, narrated by voice actor James Smilly. I had to look up to make sure I was saying that right. And the music from award-winning composer Peter McConnell. He's of Hearthstone, Broken Age, and Monkey Island. Sorry, I keep looking up. I, I want to make sure I don't screw up uh, any of the things. But look how gorgeous this game is. Let's start a new story. This game is in development. You are about to play a demo version with limited playability. Some features will not be accessible as we are still working on the game. The complete experience awaits you in the early access version. From what I understand, a demo will be available on March 29th. If you enjoy this video, put it on your wish list. Check out the demo. Look how beautiful this game is. After a long journey abroad, your company of goblins have finally returned to their homeland. Guide them safely to their lair. All right, we move with uh, A and a a D. Part of the woods. And that's the scent of danger lingers heavy. That's James Smilly right there. A uh, Scottish-born Australian voice actor, I believe. But the inspiration. A lot of it comes from Ahead, Darkest Dungeon. An adventure rests. Quietly they sneak. Look at them. Oh, we're gonna beat up this fool. Look at it, he's got our buddy in a cage. Alright, let's check out the battle. Caught off guard. He braces for battle. Oh yeah, the combat is turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack. Kill all the enemies to win the battle. Alright, we have Goot Gout Leaner. Everyone will move along the center along this time bar. Cool. When a character reaches the middle, its turn starts. Makes sense. Starting with Gout Leaner with power 10, 7 crit, 3 armor, 5 magical resist. Looks like the only thing we can do here is slash. So we're going to slash at him. <laughs> chop him right up. After attacking, the position changes. He went backwards. By 20. All right, all right. No, 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 this is telling... Okay, this guy's going to smack. He's going to go back 20. I like that it's uh, it doesn't have, like, mana costs. It's just time costs. It makes sense for combat, in my opinion. It's just like, if yeah, you swing harder, uh, it takes you longer to attack again. It's very tabletop. We're just getting all these slashes in. This guy's desperate. He went for a desperate stab to the nose. We're going to smack him once more. Oh, I thought that would finish him off. All right, Gout Leaner, you're back up. We're going to execute you. We have to. I'm sorry. You may be desperate, but you have our ally. Oh, that animation. He went for the flare. From behind iron bars. All righty, let's rescue our buddy here. We just click the box. Another one joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. He's got some nice armor on right there. Ooh, our inventory. We got we got nothing. We got nothing in there. Oh man, I can't get over how beautiful everything is. There needs to be more just hand they painted upon a carcass, carcass by the stench. A small troll. Let's harvest of this. Unclaimed meat and oh chicken. yeah. Oh yeah, L love me some carcass meat. We have furs. We're gonna take them. Oh, we're just gonna take them all. So nod bone, meat. Uh, so we sell this. We sell this. We sell that maybe? Uh, unsure. Maybe we eat the meat. Uh, I don't know if I'd eat carcass meat myself, but you know, any port in a storm, and any meat off a carcass. Oh, what's up with this guy? He's a big dude. They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his mourning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods. Barely noticing their presence, the orc wipes away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Politely thanking the grieving orc, 
the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. You can definitely tell the inspiration from Darkest Dungeon with the just absolutely fantastic narrator. Oh, poor guy's so sad. He's even, like, given up his club. He's like, my love or friend, whoever you are, you have fallen and I shall not fight again. Just beyond an old forgotten watchtower, held fast by a great forest tree. Ah, it's so, so good. You're just going to hear me, like, just pander on and on about how gorgeous everything is. It's really a huge draw for this game to me. And I can't get over it. I'm looking at the I'm looking at everything else but my goblins. Even though the goblins are just as adorable. Can we get like a sneak up on them? Oh, they turned around and saw me. It's probably the guy on the you box. Have taken the, lane. the road ahead will not be easy. Gout leaner. Oh no. No, gout leaner. Okay, we have we have a slash. So let's look at these the gray ones. They are um, if they're stunned, you can attack them, so that's why I can't use that. And that one's the execution, so we're just gonna start off with a little slashy slash. I like the little combat roll there. Ooh, we could throw a stone to stun somebody? This guy's pretty close to going. Hmm. Yeah, let's stun him. Oh, we could only hit the one in the back. You know, that's worth it, too. We don't want that guy to go. One of your goblins is tired. This happens after using an expensive ability. Tired goblins take more damage. Oh no! I would not have done that if that were the case. If I'd no Holy crap! He got smacketed. Um. Let's stun the one in the back again. It's a different one. But we're still stunning him. Alright, so we have retaliate. Attacks made against you will return damage. And then attacks made against you will trigger a shockwave. I don't... I don't know who they're gonna attack, so I think I'd rather, like, bash him with a chance to stun. Ooh, got him. See, this is looking good. This guy, man, he is just stunned forever. Um, if they're stunned, just murder him. Alright, we're gonna murder this guy. That was amazing. Thank you, Gatlinger, for being just... I know you're exhausted. I know. It takes a lot out of you. He's gonna go next, so we gotta get ourselves way out of the way there. Oh, he just whacked me for 11 right in the nose. Um, well, we're gonna smack him back. We're like, get out of here, Mr. Shabby Adventure. You're, too, you're far too shabby to hang with us goblins. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna bash him because that kills him. Why, why go on the defensive here? Alright, we, we took down two guys now. Um, that guy's really far back there. He's like, bro, I'm exhausted. Like, I, I don't even want to be near here. Uh, and, ooh, we got medium adventure stuff. It sells for 75. Various medium-sized adventure items of no use for goblins. These ones seem to be in poor condition. It, you can tell that you can't use them because they're medium-sized. We need small-sized stuff. Uh, we got some food stuff. So that's kind of better than the carcass meat. I wish this was labeled carcass meat, so I, I, I didn't accidentally just eat it first. You, you gotta eat your carcass meat as a last resort. Um, it gets tastier the more rotten it is. It's pretty dry aged by the time you get to it. <laughs> you gotta carve a little bit of the mold off, but uh, but it just brings the flavor, you know? When when I harvest my carcasses, carcass eye, uncertain. <laughs> uh, I make sure to, I make sure they mold properly. Hey, what are those guys doing over there? They look drunk. Quietly, the goblins approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Alright, we gotta find a discreet way to enter the ruin here. Uh, maybe just this door right in front of us like that uh, it's discreet to like them But for us it felt pretty obvious after a long journey abroad your company of goblins have finally returned to their homeland Guide them safely to their lair our objective was to find the goblin lair And it was pretty easy right in front of us. We had two encounters. We got zero treasure. I definitely think our uh, our shabby uh, like armor, like though of the little to use to us, it is definitely a treasure. I would, I would treasure it forever. Maybe hang it on my mantle. Uh, we harvested um, a carcass. 
so this basket is misleading. It looks like it's full of fruit, but it really needs to be like full of carrion. Uh, we got a gold bag uh, for 300 gold and then got gold for 200 gold. You know, when you have 200 gold, you just, you just, it's not enough to put into a bag. You really need 300 to justify the use of a bag. When you have 200, you should just carry each one individually. Like, every every single coin in, like, a separate hand. Sure, you might need 200 hands, but it's just not efficient to have a bag. <laughs> uh, we got some food stuffs. We got this loot stuffs. Um, I'm pretty happy about the fur. I don't know what it does, but, uh, I've heard that boots with the fur are, are in fashion. Or at least they were. But, you know, goblins might be goblins a little behind on their fashion. Under the tree through a dark and uncomfortably narrow tunnel. They miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end. Unbeknownst to the goblins, they find themselves intruding into a human-infested establishment hidden beneath the tree. The crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. Uh oh. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. All that remains to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. Is it is a retribution for like happening upon them and they all ran away, or or did while they were running away did we like murder them all? I, I'd like to think of it as they were in the confusion and chaos. We just whacked them with the stool repeatedly until death. Um, if the enemy's undamaged, inflict a bleed and two damage. I'm gonna use that because it's new. Um, and bleed sounds cool. All right, he's bleeding. Um, and now he's gonna he's gonna whack me with that big old meat shank. Oh no, he he, he used the meat shank as a horn to summon his lackeys. They have rolling pins. So they were probably making the dough for the, like, big old meat shank sandwich he intended to have. Uh, I definitely think the stun here is the better move. We're going to stun Cook A, because um, regular Cook was here first, you know. Cook A came along and was like, I'm more important. And I'm like, no, 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 Mr. Cook A, you should you should have been Cook B, honestly. Uh, right in the face with a meat shank, stunned him. Uh, <laughs> Oh, right, right in the face with the rolling pin. is It's interesting that the rolling pin doesn't have a higher likeliness to stun than the meat. Um, it's this guy's turn again. Who's who's, who's coming up? We're, we're gonna stun the big the big guy, maybe? Mm, now, we'll stun the regular cook. We're like, you know, after, after all that thinking, we, we really have the innkeeper. He doesn't really need any help, so I don't, I don't think you should do anything. Um, we have a 10% chance to stun this guy. And, you know, if it doesn't, we still kill him, like, next turn. Ooh, this guy's purple. I didn't even look at him. Oh, he's, he's got magic abilities. Attack with your trinket and deal 5 damage. That just kills him. So I'm probably going to do that. It, like, it's not the coolest ability here, but it's just, a, like, a straight kill. So we're going to do that. We have Wish Salver. I thought it was Wish Saver. Whoa, if the enemy's bleeding, remove the bleed and deal 10 damage, plus 200% of any of the bleed. Okay. Oh, there's 10. Holy crap, there's 29 damage there. 39 total damage. Oh no, he just threw a Molotov at me? That makes sense, I guess. You'd serve alcohol. Uh, let's just slash the cook. Getting rid of his minions does seem like a high priority. Let's just do a regular smack here. And then this guy comes up, and he's he's a he's a tanky boy. So we're gonna intercept this guy's next couple attacks. We're gonna just just a little smacky poo. Where's like that? That's getting you back for whacking my friend with a meat club. Take off my glove and like challenge you to a duel. I know we're already dueling, but I I want a sub duel within our duel. He summoned some more cooks. It's B and C, cause you know. Regular and A, they're kind of dead. Um, I don't know what's better. I don't, I don't know if I like bleeding these guys because they're so weak. Let's just do a regular slash here. We've got quite a bit of health to get through on um on these other guys. Oh, Blue Weaver, you're not really designed to take mallets to the face. I don't really know who is. We're gonna shock. 
and deal knockback. All right, we're gonna knock you back. Yeah, we knocked you back all the way. Five is not enough, so we're gonna stun this guy. And then we're just gonna slash this guy to finish him off. Could be you were you, you were the weakest link. Um, thought I already did that. We're just just bash him. We can stun him potentially. We did not. We don't have a way to make him bleed, which is unfortunate because that really did a lot of damage to bleed. That I really liked. Oh, he's bleeding. That was just random happenstance. It, my my stick must have thorns on it. Um, honestly, I want him in the front. If that's at all possible. If I keep him in the front, th then maybe I can use that bleed ability. Oh no, he stunned my shield guy. He, he did not. He did not get bleeded. Bled. Um, let's get you closer to death. Knock you back. It gives me a little bit of time here, so the regular smack could just take you out. <laughs> Right, we have the innkeeper up. He's not quite up, and we have our blood rupture. This was the plan. Everything we've done was leading up to that moment. More cooks, which is less damage. It's less damage to my noggin, um, but it's more people to have to deal with. 20% um, chance to bleed. I'd prefer that. Yeah, 20% chance is really pulling through. It's proc twice so far, which is high above high above the norm. Let's stun him. We don't want him to go anytime soon. Let's also stun the back guy so that hopefully they don't go right up in front of him. He, up, he went anyway. Interesting. I did not think that would work out that way. Alright, this guy's ready. Oh, he tenderized my guy. Uh, I don't think we need to heal anytime soon. Dealing 5 damage and knocking back. It just makes more sense, but this lets him go sooner, so let's do that. Just keep bleeding, just keep bleeding. Alright, we have the first blood. Man, I was really hoping uh, we would have enough to do that execute. Alright, he's still bleeding. And I don't want either one of these guys to go, but I also I really want to kick this guy close to dying. Your cocktail at me. It was on fire again. I don't know why you keep all your your alcohol on fire. I'm tenderized. 100% more damage from the innkeeper's tender smash. I'd, I'd prefer to take more damage from your tender caress. The tender smash is, you know, I, I like to get kissed before I get tender smashed. Oh boy, this is just this the game, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Do I still have to kill these guys? I do. I've killed so many of you. I'm all the way to D. Um, three damage, five damage. Wish I could hit that second one. It would be really worthwhile to just finish him off. Here we go. Right here. And kill that guy. Get hexed. That guy, that guy got hexed before he died, which I'm pretty sure means his soul is trapped in one of these stools. I'm fairly certain that's what it means. If we had gotten the bleed off there, I think he would have died immediately. But it didn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna like finish him off with a smackdown. We're gonna be like, he watched all of your friends die, like like five or six of your friends, and then I'm just gonna smack you in the face. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go loot this. Uh, we got some medium adventure stuff again. Oh no, that's that's my stuff. Oops. We got a goblin sword ham hammer. Is it a sword or is it a hammer? A lot of food stuffs. And a gold bag. Fantastic. You know, it's 300 gold again. I'm not sure. Okay, that guy was just staring at the wall. He was like, this was a nice inn, but now it is our inn. We got one encounter. A bunch of stuff here. 200 gold there. Adventure spoils. These guys were wrecked, dude. Got a bunch of gold, a bunch of food. And look at all that loot we got. Certain game features in the lair are still under development. The complete experience will be available in early access. Cool. I'm really excited for early access. Uh, just, just after the intro itself, I am definitely picking up this game. 
Um, probably buying the soundtrack. Uh, anything else I can spend money on, I'm going to do it. A horrible blight lurks in the old woods, bringing terror in its wake. Seek it out and destroy it. All right, look. At, let's look at our lair. So we have uh, campgrounds, which looks like some people are hanging out. We have the Ancestors Hall, so let's take a look at the Ancestors Hall, shall we? Uh, we can look at our Ancestors. No goblins in the list, so uh, no, I'm assuming this is like the graveyard. Nobody has died. Oh, no, I'm not done looking at you. Uh, we don't have Summon Tome. We got this much gold, this much food. Six out of 30 population. That's quite a bit of population we can have. In the barracks, we got no goblins. But we got a guard, two raiders, two peons. And a shaman. I'm wondering if you can upgrade the peons into uh, like different classes, and how many classes are there are not only in the early access, but in the demo. We have the armory over here. Um, let's look at it again. Store and improve weapons for combat. This feature is still in development. Yep, not able to upgrade my weapons quite yet, and that is completely fine. Let's look at our larder. Yeah, this is where we keep uh, like storage. Food and materials gathered in the wild. Fantastic. Look at that waterfall. Isn't this just like the best little lair? You can just come through here, uh, come over here, and you can just stare at the waterfall all day. I'd probably like sit on the ledge and read a book uh, with about a 20% chance of falling off at any given moment. I like to live, you know, life on the edge. But not while like doing anything drastic, just like literally on the edge. Reading a book. Uh, we have Blue Weaver down here. He's our shaman. We have a whole guild for just this one guy. Can't upgrade it. We can't look at our skills. But but this guy, he's got a whole room to himself. And I wouldn't have it any other way. He's he's obviously the best goblin we have. This is our raiders guild. So that like it looks like maybe you can unlock um, extra rooms, and that's how you get different classes. So I wonder if you can. It, it's probably not in development but I assume you'd be able to take the peons and be like hey join join this guild and that's our guards guild they like things a little posh and damp dapper I almost said damper no nope, that's our shamans they prefer the dampness down here we have our quarters there's no goblins down here houses your main population of non-adventuring goblins cool so we have non-adventuring goblins warrens uh, this is where we breed them, which is I like all that stuff's not in not in the demo, which is totally cool. You know, I'd much prefer to be able to check that out in like full detail when the game releases. I'm I'm really excited about that. So let's go take a look at the campgrounds. Um, fist, fist, fist. So these look like they're all the peon class, or no? no there's two raiders and and one whatever you are. You're a guard. I should have known that. Well, let's look at your jeans, yeah? You got green skin, a small nose. You're pretty thin. You got some straight ears, even though they, they droop just a little bit. They're straight overall. You got a pretty cheery mouth. You know, as cheery as a goblin can get. Like, like this, this is what a goblin mouth looks like in a good mood. You don't want to see a bad mood goblin mouth. Uh, and you got some round eyes. Th those are definitely the definition of round eyes. Uh, let's recruit the guard. And then we'll recruit one of these guys as well. Uh, we'll just say that Tome Cupper, um, we like just just you know for no real reason. Uh, even though your body attribute is increased, we're just we're just gonna say no to you because uh, you know there has to be some competition to get into our Goblin Guild. We don't really make decisions based off of anything valid. We just randomly pick two, and in the, in the last one, you just you just can't make it. Um, so we have to scout something. Mm, looks like this is how we do that. So. So we this did we do this? We have two quests. It looks like maybe uh, somebody's been dismissed. Okay, uh, there are resources available in these foothills. Okay, how do we start it? You're gonna you're gonna like laugh at me while I'm like, okay, this is my quest, but how do I go? Do I hit my front door? Look at that adorable little. I I don't know if I would call that a goblin, a thingamabob. Oh, we can look at the world. See, see if you press if you press all the buttons on the screen, eventually you'll get the right one. Um, looks like we can go to the old woods. We have the Merry Foothills here and the lair here. I assume this is where we are. So let's go to the Merry Foothills. 
we get 200 gold five sandstone and five soft wood and there's some there's some human enemies here a bunch of resources too that we could try to get it's resource rich um, here you can manage your party you can see goblin stats abilities and equipment you can also reorder their combat positions okay well these peons I probably only want one like one um, let's remove remove the you um, and let's add in our new we got two raiders one guard one peon one shaman let's add a new guard in sad you like you right there okay, okay I didn't do something right you dragon drop that's how you do it I'm, I'm getting there guys and gals we have now we have two raiders which will kind of do some bleedy bleedy stuff we got one guy who stuns uh, one pseudo healer two guards to, to kind of mitigate some damage if need be and just just smack people um, now I need to figure out how to equip stuff and I don't know how to <laughs> do 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 stats outfit change your weapon we don't have a lot of weapons here it looks like S let's go over to wish salver let's change your weapon so this this crude hammer of meat gave us some extra life as well 10 max life that is fantastic when you have meat in hand you die much less easy all right now that we did that maybe our handy guy can, can use a sword you cannot it's raider only all right one of our guys is just using fists that's fine he's still gonna guard yep I don't have anything I can do about that <laughs> It's the way I see it. Maybe I'll find a weapon while I'm here. Alright, so you can move with WSD or the mouse. So you can play this game one hand if you wanted to. Oh boy, we're gonna harvest this, uh... It almost looks like a ginger tree, but it's not. It's just a re regular tree. It looks like a big thing of ginger. I'm gonna cross this big old log here and hopefully come across the first person we can uh, just completely mutilate oh another tree you know I'm totally okay with extra resources as well let's grab that wood the fiber and some more berries I think we can maybe eat the berries for like food but yeah it converts to two food at the end of the adventure use it to heal healing is a smart thing to do um, wonder what's up with you do you have like stats I can upgrade maybe you have a um, what's it called you have an exclamation mark above your head oh it's gone it's gone whatever the game was trying to show me it completely gave up it didn't say there'd be wolves here oh he attacked he, he was trying that whole I don't see you jump attack ooh we can get a first blood going definitely want to start that off just, just right, right in your face, Mr. Wolf. Alright, Wolf A is gonna bite. And then we have Wolf B here. Um, we're gonna do a stone throw. No. Mm. We're just gonna smack this wolf. What are you thinking, wolf? What are you thinking coming at us? Do you, do you not see that we are goblins? We're gonna smack him again. And this, that, that just murders him. The meat club is so powerful. Alright, Skim Dumper is going to come along and smack him as well. Just five five damage to the face, Mr. Mister Wolf A. We can stun you here. Hey, we don't want you to go. We don't want you attacking any of our guys either. We'll just deal five damage. What is this? That's cool. I like that. I don't remember seeing that ability. We need to smack him again. Our peons, they're really good at just fast smacks. Smackity smack smack. The stun is really made just this whole fight trivial. We got hit once and the the, 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 the wolf never had a chance. You cannot goblins defeat may be small, the goblins. But in battle they are not without merit. 
I was trying I was checking there to see if F would open up. Ooh, so we got some wolf meat. Oh, brittle fiber. See that that wolf was worried about its diet. He was like, I haven't had a solid poo in a while. I need my fiber. While the other one was on all all meat diet, just carrying it around, because we didn't we didn't like chop up a wolf. It was just holding it in his mouth. We got some copper ore and a sandstone there. Oh, look at this bridge. Oh no, a spider. I am afraid of spiders, but not so much that games um, like negatively affect me. It's just more so that if, if, if one were to like randomly jump on me, uh, I would scream. I would scream very, very loudly. <laughs> but I'm mostly okay with them. In games, they might result in the occasional shiver. Um, if we stun this red back, because he's the scary one, honestly. The other two, I feel like my human size, I could, like, a really good jump, I could get a stomp on it. Uh, but that red back, there's no stomping it. You just gotta smack him till he's dead. They... Yeah, we do. We smacked the, uh, the gabo in the face. He can only deal five damage, but he's bleeding, so hopefully the bleed will uh, finish him off. Oh, it looks like we're actually going to just bash him to death. All right, we have we have a little thing here. We have our healing chant, our soul shock, knocking him back. We'll uh, make sure he can't he, he doesn't get to go. I, I love how much control we have over the battle. It's definitely a difference from Darkest Dungeon. One that some people will love, some people will hate. So far, it seems way more accessible, but I'm still extremely early in the game. Alright, what do they carry? They carry meat. Ah, I think spider meat is even lower on the list of meats I will eat. Like, even behind carcass meat. I'd much rather eat a carcass than eat a spider. That was that was a pretty fast match. Pretty pretty fast right there. Not too shabby at all. We got a bunch of stuff. I don't see uh, like an experience gain. I don't know if that's just because this is an early press demo or because they don't level up, but, but we'll have to find out. I'm excited to see. We have day three here. I don't think we even need to do anything down here. We're just gonna go straight to uh, keeping figuring out all of this stuff. Let's go to the world. We're gonna run another one. Oh, now we have all the way up here, the, the whistling heath. We can we can find a bunch of food or get a bunch of food. There's a bunch of enemy types too. Maybe I just didn't see these last time. They were hiding like this, like a hot peekaboo. Spiders and wolves. This one has poor resource gain. The last time we got two on rich, so this one probably only get like zero to one. I'm gonna keep the same layout. I liked that. With everybody kind of playing control and our meat guy just coming in for a clobbering. And then after this one, I'm going to call it a, call it a video. But I'm going to play this some more on stream on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central. So if you're interested in seeing even more gameplay of this and maybe a more interactive format, check out the description where my stream is advertised and come hang out with me on Wednesday. You can tell me all the stupid things that I'm doing. Backseat game all you want, as long as you're not a jerk. We don't we don't deal with jerks. We like we like helpful backseat gamers around these parts. Oh, jump! Interesting. I was wondering if there, if this, like, it would be two routes. I'm, I'm wondering if it's two routes or just jump up here and fight to get some, like, wagon stuffs. Almost like an optional fight. Like, you can jump up here and fight some spiders to get this, this wonderful loot here. Uh, we get a big old smack to the face. We did one damage less than expected, which does not put that spider in a range. Oh no, I'm poisoned. That's the first time that's happened. Let's do a smacky smack to the face. Ooh, a big old crit. And then our meat boy. Just gonna finish you off. Oh, that spider was squashed. 
Well, yeah, I mean, what what does two spiders think it could do against six goblins? See, see that that like being at a uh, above four to four to whatever, but it's fine. It didn't get to attack. A deserving victory. Oh, they fell off. I'm sorry, little buddies. You stood no chance. We'll we'll take all the loot, and I swear we will uh we'll share it all with you. You know, all of it. Goblin wand, a humanoid, a bone, 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 infused with magic. Could not speak. Small adventure stuffs. It's useless to me, but it's not useless to my other people. Um, how do I look at my party? <laughs> Am I able to equip stuff while I'm here? I also don't know how to exit this. All right, click a couple times outside of it. Um, can I? Can I see my party, please? Maybe I just click on. Yeah. Okay. I just click on a guy. Um, we're we're looking at you to see what kind of weapon you have equipped. You have a crude magic rock. A crude magic rock is nice, but look at this humanoid bone. Like, wouldn't you like to upgrade to human bones? And I think yes. You are one of my favorite characters so far. So of course you get the wonderful bones of humans. Ooh, that, that was a completely different route. I kind of want to go back and see where the other one led. Um, another one wand. It looks a little bit different. We're going to have to compare the two. Um, large adventure stuff. They definitely won't fit us. Let's look at our party again. And, and look at the big wand, or the other wand. It's less crude, maybe? It's the same power, but it does look different. They both come with blasts. So if you prefer, if you prefer this one go for it but I definitely like the more bony one that has almost a heart shape at the end we're gonna keep going forwards uh, for some for a place that has been poor in resources I've sure found a lot of stuff look at that look at that this is the resource stuff you're pouring you're like oh there's only there's only one of these oh boo but look at how many caravans there are, and that's why that's why you hang around around human stuff. Humans are notorious for just leaving their stuff all over the place. Oh, no. he he didn't like that we robbed him. We're gonna grab first blood on uh, let's say this guy maybe. I think he'll be right up here by the time Meat Boy comes along. Ooh, 12 to the face. That was uh, much more damage than we would ever, ever want to experience. All right, we just stunned that guy. Oh, we did not want you to attack first. You were not, you were not meant to do, to, to attack. Um, we can wakey wakey to finish him off. Oh yeah. Push ahead and seize the chance. I'm gonna call him Super Meat Boy from now on. All right, we got we have a stool. We have a human. Human stool. We get to go first, which is good. We don't want our guy to get blasted. Twelve damage, just just twelve huge damage to the face right here. Fantastic. Oh, skim dumper. Oh man. The guys are getting their uh, their goblin knocked in. I'm gonna smack this guy and not quite finish him off. Unfortunate. Because then we can't blood rupture. And we, we're really looking forward to a blood rupture. I'm just gonna whack him with my stool. Alright, smack him with my fists. He's got a, quite a few turns before he gets to go, and we get to blast him with our wand. He's taking bleed damage. Decent him out. Ooh, he's gonna need a heal. He's gonna need it. Smack him again. Alright. The threat has passed. The threat has passed. What are you chopping? What are you chopping, Mr. Wizard? We're gonna take all this fiber stuff, so we've gotta make sure we're regular. Oh, sandstone as well. You look at him, he's just he's just chopping away. 
signs of an early game, but uh, I love it. He's just he just does not like the guy in front of him. He's just gonna keep whacking him in the back of the head. It's gonna be like, I I really don't like you, buddy. Whack you till you're dead. Oh, and that's it. Awesome. We can be explored everywhere. Pretty easy. Uh, we did miss an encounter, probably from not taking that other route. Slightly unfortunate that we didn't we didn't explore everywhere, but that's fine. Wait, look how many gold we have. If I figure out what to do with gold, oh, those humans are in for it. Let's finish this off. All right, that has been Goblin Stone. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and remember, stop by Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central on my Twitch to see more. We will be doing probably a two to three hour stream or until the demo is finished. Whichever comes first. Thank you so much. Until next time.